and gas main. And gas main. Luckily, the ground's soft, so there's not been swinging any picks or bars in there. I already, I already knackered the sky cable on this estate, I don't want to knacker a gas pipe too. <sighs> Speed bump number two. It's there, 25 past nine. The 25 plus 9. Can I help you? Hello. Hello. Alright Al, can you remember what we're doing? You're going to explain to me what we're doing. Well from what I, what I can recall what you said, this whole thing is being removed. And we're going to dig down where, find where the strain goes, connect it all up to here, and just be rid of all this to make way for the new bathroom. Yes. Yeah, we're going to dig, dig down till we find the clay, till we find the flat. Obviously, you're going to follow the bend till you find the flat clay. We're going to cut it off, put a, a reducer clay to plastic onto it, and then we're going to put a bend in, probably about 30, 45 degree. To take us to the the bathroom's being redone, so it's having all new soil pipe and stuff. So we're going to renew this. Put a T. Yeah, put a T on with the with the Durga valve in the top, so it can be rodded. And that means the pipe will stop there and finish instead of having this monstrosity going all the way up here. And this is this is part, this is like stage one of the, quite a big job. Um, we're also repointing the whole side up to there where the, the guy who sold the house had it repointed up to there and then stopped so we're going to finish that off so it all matches carport's coming down eventually obviously the soil pipe's going and then we're going to be building the little porch here um, I think it's going to be 1.4 by 2.2 and then once we get the brickwork up and slab it these are coming out and the slab is going to go right the way through to the doorstep there so it'll be one big slab and it'll be if you think the, pipe, the porch is coming to here it's going to be quite a good quite a good sized porch because they've all got stone porches on them all the houses but then people have put doors in so it's actually not much of a porch that's what two foot door and it's very cramped so that's going door here so it's going to be a nice big open area um, yeah, so that's that's to come. We've got an extension to do before that, but at the moment we're here because there's bad weather forecast, so we're just working under this carport for a couple of days before um, before we get rid of it. So yeah, we're, we're going to get these few flags up and see what happens. Trying out new toys. Oh yeah, trying out these new bad boys. Can see a roughneck. Yeah, the roughneck gorilla chisels with the. Uh, the handles which you can take off you can unscrew them and take the handle off so we're giving them a whirl we've got the uh, electricians three inch haven't we yeah we've got a a spike and we have a bolster uh, not a, a wide bolster and also a cold chisel so yeah so far so good thank you roughneck yeah thanks roughneck so i think dad forgot to press play so, um, oh, my French, <laughs> never miss much. We've got the flags out and we've started digging, that's all you've missed so far. I had to cut that step back because it was on top of that flag. Yeah, so the we. Steps go in anyway because the porch is going in. Yeah, so yeah, eventually the porch is going in, so that step's going. But yeah, so now we're just going to dig down here, find where this leads or how deep it goes, and then. Then what? Then what? We uh, cut it off and connect to it, and we think it's going to be deep. It's going in there. Right. So it probably goes quite deep before it heads across. Because the drive's probably about a foot higher than the next door side. Right. So it's going to be under there. So, that's the battle plan. That's how your content looks like to hit play, so. Uh, we've got, we might end up taking these two flags up yet. Turns out it could be four foot deep, so we'll see. So, I'll put you up somewhere and we'll get cracking.
Just getting some quick camera footage and then we'll switch the time lapse. Okay. Is that an electric cable? It's a gas pipe. Good way to remember the cooking as well. Yeah. So, since we are filming, I don't know if you can see that. In fact, I'll pick you up. Can you just scrape that out of the way? Yeah. Our first obstacle. This one's for Justin here. He'll, he'll know how to paint you. A gas main. A gas main. Luckily, got the ground soft so we've not been swinging any picks or bars in there. I already, I knack, I already knackered the sky cable on this estate. I don't want to knacker a gas pipe too. Mm. So. Well, it's got to be awkward, hasn't it? Got to be, yeah. No, Stephen Alex joke is not awkward. Oh. So, uh, well, at least we haven't hit it. Yeah, we haven't hit it, we've just encountered it. So, that's probably a foot underground. So, we're going to need uh, some piping to go around that one with concrete. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to go through the porch, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to sleeve it. Right. Trust me to be filming when we hear the obstacle. Alright, I'll stick you on time lapse while we get ourselves figured out. Let's get you set back up. Alright, it's been about 10 seconds since uh, we had this issue and we found the bottom. Are you sure we found it? In a second. Let's, uh, let's get you down there. We hit something hard. So it's either a nice pipe or it's a big slab of concrete. That's it. Yeah. We've just got to make this hole really big now so we can get down there and get the steel sorry to cut it. Well that's good, so it's not four foot down. No, that's a good that's the good news. So we've had a, we've got a speed bump of that gas pipe, but we found the the soil pipe. Yeah. That's good. <sighs> Speed bump number two. Uh, 25 past nine. The 25 plus nine. Oh, as you can see there, we've got a water pipe too, and I think that one is running, as you can see, it's running that way. Lead, it could go anywhere you, it could go anywhere they want. Yeah. They didn't do straight lines with lead. It could be dead, but we can't take that risk. No. We've still got to go under it. I mean, it's still underneath the pipe, so it's just something to dig around. It's not going to affect where our pipe goes. Yeah, it's just another thing to yeah. make the dig a bit more awkward. Yeah. But, uh, so... You can the post holes come in handy. You can call this video Pipes Galore. Yeah. Had a few, but those are, those are coming in handy because it's a tight dig. He's a very good uh, digging purchase. They're roughneck, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. More roughneck. Yeah. They're brilliant then. Heavy duty, cut fiberglass handles. Yeah. Oh, the label. Yeah. Just see the K roughneck. There's the uh, K. Yeah. Yeah. They've got little protections at the tops. Take your knuckles. Well, they've lasted as well, well over a year now, haven't they? Yeah. You just keep tightening the bolts, oiling it every now and again. Give it, give it a bit of love yeah. and it's good to go. So yeah, so just to give you a quick update, we've got more pipes, more of an awkward dig, but it's nearly break time, so we'll just dig what we can and have a quick bite and then get sorted. Trigger's brush. Eh? Trigger's brush. Who's trigger? Ah, uh, see, the older people in the comments know all about that comment. Trigger's brush. Leave in the comments if you know. Leave in the comments if you know what we're on about. If uh, we're about. It's, 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 we can't identify you. You can. You have to turn around. Who's this? Steve and Alex, stranger. This is the retro shit. We do retro as well. It's yeah. Modern and retro. It's called nothing. <laughs> it's boob sweats when it gets. <laughs> The Paul Blart special. Yeah. Right, I'll stick your buddy back on time. Let's throw a waste of film.
It's like an archaeological dig this. So the pipe coming out, we'll probably cut it just past that collar. So we've got a bit of room to connect. We'll put a bend on it and bend it into there. And then we'll put a, uh, a sweat bend on it to bring it up here. But there's the water, there's the gas, which we found, we're okay with that. Um, we found the foundation of the house which sticks out a good nine inches. We've got to cut through that to get the pipe come up through it. And we did bring the big breaker. Alex said, should we bring it? I said, nah, won't need a big breaker on there. Famous last words. So, we should, we'll be using the little breaker on that. Maybe get in there with the steel saw. Here we go. Onto the hands and knees now. Hand digging. There's a bit of groundwater. There's our pipe with the join. There's our lead water pipe. There's our gas pipe. So we're going to get the rest of this out now. I'm going to bang this out. We'll probably get the uh, the tightening should do that because we're just going to come through on an angle like that and up there. So um, yeah, while Alex goes at this end, I'm going to have, have a go at this end. So I'll put you back on time. That's for another little bit. Right, been shopping. Back from back from our long lunch break. Yep. There's um the battery says one percent, but it's still filming. There's the ingredients for solar pipe soup. There's our tea, it's gonna go into the wall there. There's a Durgo valve in the van that goes into the top of that. Our sweat bend for the bottom. Then we've got either a 30 or a 15 degree bend that goes into the clay, which goes into the band seal so that's our little setup and the Durga valve just slips in and out so if it does have any rodding from the top that can be done but the, uh, the manhole's there so it can always be rodded back so everything's going to be good we're just going to get this all dismantled now and get it out and then um, disconnect the toilet for an hour or so hopefully so we'll put it back on town that's why we get this out So we've put the little gas in it now, so I'm just telling the channel. Now we just uh, smash this out and get it replaced. As you can see, it's very flimsy. There you go, done. <laughs> Oh, 
tell you what, I didn't think it was going to be that easy to pull it out. There you go. Now we need to go and get that one out. Do you want to take that a sec? I can't believe it got right through. Uh, that's, that's, a, chip pipe. That's, it. that's the beauty of a still saw. We've never done up the electric one, have we? No, no chance. There she blows, right. Let's get this trap cleared out. And uh, get these pipes connected as quick as we can. Back to time lapse. So I'm grabbing some kitchen roll because right now we're gonna, well dad's polishing enough that to get nice and clean. That way we can throw some fairy liquid on it and get the... Do you have any fairy liquid on it? Oh, we don't, is that no, for the other bit? The band seal, yeah. Okay. That's the plastic. Forget that then. So we cleaned it off so we can get the adapter on nice and easy. You got a uh, screwdriver? No. There you go. So about to die, I'll change the battery. How are you finding these there, Roughnecks? Good, right, it's very handy. Another tool that we didn't realise we needed. Thank you, Roughneck. So, while he's doing that, I'll show you here, because we died. There you go, that's all connected in with the adapter. Now we just need to feed it. We're going to get this cut down, and then get it fed up into there. That's the plan anyway, so I'll, uh, I'll stick you somewhere so you can watch this unfold. And a side note, we need to be careful with this because this is an, an asbestos pipe, so we don't want to be cutting or breaking this one because we don't want to be getting the asbestos everywhere, so we'll handle the care. Just getting it from under now. So where's that one go? Where's that one go? What do you mean? Where's this go? Straight down. So we just we just put like a cap on that or something? Yeah, the dirt one. Oh, is that what's in the van? Yeah, the dirt one because it seals the pipe, it stops the snow getting up. When the toilet flushes, it sucks water, it sucks air in. Because that's, that's one, to get rid of the smell. And two, when you flush a toilet, if that, if that was sealed, the toilet won't flush. It's got to pull air in as well, so that put it, that smells out, it pulls air in as well. See that needs a, that needs cutting right back that. Pull it out. Um, 50 mil. Do you want a little grinder for that? Yeah. Which we have right here. Actually, just the hands for the problem. Good on the key to, oh, hey? Yeah, we use that. 
good on the keto. Well, that off. Clean up a little bit, a bit dirty. While Dad finishes that off, I'll show you the rest of the uh, steps, shall we say. As when we're at Fairwoods, we picked up some 10 mil pipe bedding, so we've got all that ready just to pour in there for the pipe bedding. Hence the main pipe bedding, obviously, but this will be going in as soon as there, all the pipes are set up. And then I think this is what my dad was on the lot before. The, uh, the valve or whatever? Yeah, the valve, the um, Yeah. This is the valve. Let's have a look see. There we go. So this is what's going to be going on top. That's it. There's some from the other day. So yeah. I'm going to go back and help him get that set up. We'll set you up for time lapse while we get these pipes installed. Or if I now forget that bit. So then get you back over there and we'll uh, We'll get these pipes on. There's our makeshift uh, lubricant. When in doubt, a bit of fairy liquid always helps. You know, best pulling that out. What? You know, best pulling that crap out. The big chisel, really. The blue one? Yeah. The pipe is way too angled. angled. Yeah. Can't get that fucking straight. You know, best trying to prop it up on a piece of brick or something. Mm. Right. That looks better. Yeah, do you want a piece of uh, brick or block to uh, pack under it? Yeah, well, what do you look like? Just take a little bit more out and maybe take a little bit. Just close to the wall as possible, you see. Right, okay. And then, see, this is temporary. Mm. The plumbers are going to change that. Right, okay. Well, we just want to make sure it's working with it until it gets done. Yeah. There you go. Can't get much closer to the wall than that. Right, bit of brick now to prop that pipe up. Bit of brick. How's this? That. Just not enough. Um,
What's next? Getting the uh, black one down. What's Say again. What's that one. Yeah. That goes there. Mm-hmm. You need the short black one for there. Yeah. Um, can you get a bag of stone? Yep. So that pipe bed in there is for the pipe to sit on and just a quick one. Obviously when we were down with the A&E boys they called this pea gravel so which kind of threw us off from time to time because like what the hell is pea gravel? So what do you call this this pipe bed in pea gravel. Put down in the comments what you uh, what you call it. Okay. Oh, it looks lovely. Tape measure, please, mate. Tape measure. Uh, Four hundred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just spin it. Sounds like the dentist. Eh? Sounds like the dentist. Yeah. Shit, the bubbles then. Beautifully, that. Oh, that looks beautifully. Nice job. Mm, just put a level on that boat level. Put a lot on it. Turn it to colour. What's that? Turn it to colour. Oh, turn it to colour on that. Look at it. Turn it to colour on that. That's plenty of fall, that isn't it? Yeah. Right, um, what do you want? Other end of I've got a bit of this measurement right, this pipe. This. One sec. You're on the big end? Yeah. Let's see how much it goes on to these. So, there we go, that's the first pipe in. Plenty of fall in it too. Quite, quite, by, quite not a bad job if I uh, say so myself, even though I've not done anything. But um, so we're just going to get the sun measures up and popped in now. We'll come back to you when that's in. There we have it. That's one pipe re removed. Re oh, made it with that. That looks gorgeous, that. Bloody cracking. Got it nice and close to the wall. All fits perfectly. Got a really nice fall on it. No, uh, no big turns or anything. That's a, that's a lovely job, valve. that. Burger valve comes off when you draw it in. My manual's the other side of that fence when you draw in that way. It's never going to block. Do you want to go get the valve? Yes, please. 
you uh, show off your work. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Bit of patching to do, but we're patching a few brick on here anyway. Yeah, gotta pick them up. Look at that. Weird that because that's not weathered. That's under a carport, so that doesn't even get wet. Just the way the bricks are. So here's the man. You grab that. Yeah, fair enough. Put on it. Yeah, Durgo valve, also known as an air. Uh, well, Durgo valve. There's a few different names. What, what this does is it seals the pipe and. It seals the pipes from the smells coming out, but when the toilet flushes, it'll let air in. And it does away with the stink pipe like that. Because that stink pipe is designed to take the smells above. So you can't smell. You get a lot of these in lofts and um, boxed in inside houses. It does away with solid pipes going through the house. So here's our little crown. Bit of um, kitchen wall, please, mate. Wipe it off. Thank you. So I think it's a case of uh, get the pipe bedding in, tidy up. Backfill it. Sounds good. We're done with the stilly. Yes. Right. So while he finishes that up, I'll start packing some stuff up, and then once he's ready, we'll backfill it up with the uh, pipe bedding and get it backfilled with all the. Get this thing down. Yeah, get that thing down too, yeah. So, catch you in a minute. We're going to be digging most of this back out eventually, but instead of leaving it like this as a trip hazard, we're going to backfill it with the soft stuff. And I'm just going to take you over here a sec. And here, this is for the dig later. We've got this, so this can go over the gas and water pipes. So we've already got that ready to cover them up for the concreting. Because obviously, as you know, you can't just concrete over a gas pipe. You can't just concrete a gas pipe in, so we're going to get that cut and slotted over that and obviously that's probably going to go all the way through i imagine so make sure we get all that covered up but anyway now let's back fill this back up any any words of wisdom let's tidy up There you have it. That's one finished reset pipe. There's the uh, the asbestos one. We're gonna, I think we'll leave that here for now, and then we're gonna get that dealt with properly once uh, once we're finished up here. So there it was, and there's our new one. As you can see, that's a lot better. It doesn't take up as near as much space, and it's uh, it's been done pretty well, hasn't it? Very happy with that. So we've popped the flags and all that back in for now and all that's going to be going into a skip I'm, I've uh, been told so because obviously we're coming back here to do more work so all that will be getting tossed away accordingly but there we have it that's all done so I believe that's the end of this video because this should just be the pipe video so thank you very much for watching we hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment and if you're new be sure to hit that subscribe and bell icon it's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate it stay tuned for more of our content and obviously for the big exhibition in July, which will be uh, loads of fun. So this has been Alex from Brickling with Steve and Alex signing off. We'll see you in the next video. So there you have it. That's one pipe re redone. However you want to word it. Ah, and there you have it.
so then let's get to the wrap up part. Okay, so a big thank you very much for watching. Should be another day. Ah, give it a swell. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, of course, hit that subscribe button. It's a massive help and we greatly appreciate it. We uh, will be... Forget that a little bit.